Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are stepping back into some familiar territory and once again we are going to examine some of the greatest punches in One Piece. I've already done two of these videos now and I highly recommend that you check both of them out before jumping into this one, or after actually, I don't really care. Let's all just sit back and enjoy some amazing punches. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to a third edition of the Top 5 Best Punches in One Piece. Number 5. King Kong Gun Alright, so Dress Rosa was an exceptionally lengthy arc for both the anime and the manga, and what it essentially was building towards the entire time was this phenomenal finishing move used on Doflamingo. I'm sure that anybody who was reading or watching weekly during the Dress Rosa arc would agree that this punch was a shot of absolute euphoria straight to the veins. As much as I loved Doflamingo, it was a huge relief to see him finally defeated, and I think that this punch was incredibly well deserved. Doflamingo had proved to be a surprisingly resilient villain who while no match for Luffy in Gear 4 form, just kept on tanking punches like a boss. So to put him down for good, Luffy really needed to whip out something serious, and the King Kong gun is still probably the most fearsome looking single punch we've seen in the series to date. The scale of it is absolutely absurd, and the way this punch instantly shatters Doflamingo in the manga is just perfection. However, I should point out that in the anime, this attack had nowhere near the same sort of impact, as it was drawn out to the point where the initial power behind the strike was almost entirely negated. But whatever the case, the King Kong gun was a pretty fine punch and manages to capture the number five spot. Number four, Mini Luffy. So I'm sure that we all have vivid memories of Luffy vs. Luchi being a brutal slugfest, but hidden amongst all of that incredible violence and blood is this little gem of a punch. Prior to the time skip, Luffy was unable to use Gear 3rd without the drawback of becoming tiny for an equal amount of time as he used the attack for. So after using Gear 3rd on Luchi, Luffy was forced into the awkward position of combating this top assassin in his mini form for quite some time. Luchi naturally dominated this portion of the battle, but that did not stop Luffy from trying to sock him one anyway, which is simultaneously hilarious, cute, and incredibly telling of Luffy's drive to beat Luchi. While it's definitely not the most prominent example of Luffy's never surrender attitude, it is a brilliant punch that is 100% true to Luffy's character. Unfortunately, I think this tiny moment often gets forgotten about because it takes place right in the middle of a swell of other iconic action, but I feel that it is finally time that mini Luffy's punch gets the recognition it deserves. Number 3. Luffy vs Kobe It's fair to say that Kobe had a bit of an internal struggle going on during the Paramount War, but there were a few moments of solidarity, and when Luffy fell down to the battlefield, the young Marine made the brave decision to fight him as if he wanted to kill him. Now this was a huge moment for Kobe, who throughout the series had always been portrayed as weak, and a big moment for the audience as well. It was entirely possible that we were about to witness an epic showdown between these two characters, but alas, after all of Kobe's inner monologuing, he was defeated in a single, wonderful strike to the face. It was a fantastic subversion of expectations, because in most other shonen series, an inner monologue like Kobe's would have led to a more hard-fought fight. But Oda has no time for that. So while I do feel bad for Kobe, this punch was nothing short of amazing. Better luck next time, buddy. Number two, Golden Rifle. I'm actually not entirely sure how I've managed to make three best punch videos now and not touch on this particular move. This action that finished off NL is the defining moment of the whole Skypiea arc and an iconic image for the series as a whole. There's just so much going on here because this action is much more than your average punch. For a starter, Luffy's hand was encased in gold courtesy of NL himself. So it's very poetic that this very action is one of the contributing factors to his downfall. Secondly, in addition to defeating NL, Luffy managed to ring the Golden Bell of Shandora for the first time in 400 years, simultaneously accomplishing the goal of Wiper, as well as signaling to Nolan's descendant, Cricket, that the Golden City really did exist. This punch just accomplished an incredible amount and really tied up the entire saga of a story. So I feel like the Golden Rifle is more than deserving of the number two spot. Number one, Happiness Punch. 
You may have noticed at the beginning of this video, I didn't state my usual criteria of a punch needing to be a single action with one's fist. And that is purely because we simply needed to include this special brand of punch on this list. Because let's be real here, this is quite possibly the most powerful punch in the series. And like most punches, it consists of quite a basic action, although in this case, that action is Nami simply dropping her towel. The resulting effect is an instant knockout of any males in the vicinity who, for whatever reason, you know, just so happen to be looking her way at the time. So it's kind of like a light version of Boa Hancock's ability, except that this punch comes with one extra bonus. After being quote unquote hit by this punch, Nami then charges the victim 100,000 berries for the experience. So given its devastation and potential for profit, I feel like it's a no brainer that the happiness punch clinches the number one spot on this list. And that about does it for a third top five best punches in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and please do comment with more of your own favorite punches in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.